Dajia hao, this is Mark, and the video you're about to watch was originally posted on a different channel a few weeks ago. If you missed my explanation about what happened with Wushuzilla, be sure and click right there. To get everyone caught up, I'll be reposting about 9 videos from the Wushu52 project, and the video you're about to watch was recorded on January 11th, 2022, where I talk about Week 1 Wushu52 Training Recap. So if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Are you ready? I'm ready. Roll the clip. Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to do a recap of the training that I did in the beginning of Wushu 52. Are you ready? Let's go. So it was the first week of Wushu 52 and to be honest it was rough. By the end of the week I was on crutches, I was barely able to move, I'm still on crutches. They're right there. And a couple caveats just because I want to cover my butt here. The reality is I am several years out of shape. I haven't trained regularly or at all in several years, since maybe four years. My physical condition is at an all-time low level. That's why it's going to take me at least a year just to get back up to the shape where I can do Wushu at a normal level, let alone an advanced level, which I may never get to. This is the very beginning of the journey, the tip of the iceberg in a very, very deep cold ocean of ice and i'm doing a few things differently than what you might imagine people would do now you're going to look at some of these exercises and say well you're not doing those very hard it's not very deep you're not working very difficultly is that a word but the reality is my physical condition is so low that anything <laughs> is hard to do you'll understand when you're in your mid 50s the 25 year old version of myself would look at the 52 year old version of myself and say what is wrong with you even before i started wushu back in my 20s i was in better shape than i am right now by far and i wasn't in good shape back then either take all of this with a grain of salt this is someone starting not even at zero it's like negative 16 on a 1 to 10 scale okay did i did i cover my butt enough yet is that good all right without further ado let's take a look at some of the training i was able to do last week and i'll do a little bit of voiceover with this stuff too just fyi i have another video that i'm going to be putting out in a couple days that relates to this channel and how I'm going to adapt it and change it a bit. I'll talk more about that in the next video, but just keep aware that I'm going to be producing that. Probably Thursday I'll put that out. Okay, without further ado, let's get into it. It is January 1st, and I know I said that I was going to have my first Wushu training in Maui on Tuesday, but I'm awake and it's morning and the gym's open, so I'm going to go and see how much Wushu I can do today. My Wushu training is pretty light, because I haven't done it in a while. Let's take a look and see what I have written down here. Warm-ups, then I'm doing kicks. I'm just doing six good kicks twice for each leg. Um, so 12 total. No, wait, six, six. Yeah. So three, six each leg. You, you get what I'm saying. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight kicks. Uh, so six, six each leg, eight kicks, uh, loose kicks, jung ti tui, si ti tui, li ho tui. Honestly, I don't know how far I'll get in that because my legs are pretty stiff. Then do some stance work. Um, there's six different stance combos I'm using. Gong bu, gong bu, uh, ma bu, ma bu. Um, Abu Gongbu, and then some others, and then uh, specific techniques, uh, punches, palms, hooks, hammer fist, back suit. So I don't get to get through most of those either. So my actual workout for today is going to be pretty light. It's just going to be like an reintroduction into Wushu after a long time away. Do some kicks, a little bit of stance work, maybe walk through a form once or twice, and that's about it. A lot of stretching and a little bit of conditioning as well. So let's see how it goes. Yeah, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see, but uh, here we go. I'm going to tell you right now that almost none of that happened. <laughs> and not only that, but I kept putting my camera in my pocket when it was on and taking it out when it was off. So uh, you're going to get to see a lot of this. There's nowhere in there for me to do wushu. <laughs> they have a uh, workout room, but they have classes there too. So they might be having classes right now. And if so, then I'll, I'll just get in a general workout and some mobility training. But it would be nice to be able to do some wushu. It's too cold to do it outside, even though it's a beautiful day. Take a look. It's a beautiful day out, but it's too cold to do wushu outside. Um, and I'm not dressed for outside wushu. I don't even have wushu shoes on. So anyway, we'll play it by ear. We'll see what happens. Let's go inside and take a look. 
So I did 10 minutes of cardio on the bike, followed by some of the RTK, the knee, knee work uh, with the cart pushing and pulling. And then I went into the workout room after the class, but they were starting another class right away. So that room was off limits, which is too bad because that would have been the perfect place to practice some wushu. So instead I went out and I did some mobility training. I did some stretching. I did some light kicking just to see what my range of motion was. All right. So sort of a workout, not really a wushu workout, but I did get in some stretch kicks, a little bit of stance uh, practice. It is going to be hard. I can tell already. This is not going to be an easy journey at all. I am so out of wushu shape. Um, but I did a bit of cardio warm up. I did a little more intensive work with the sled thingy. Did some uh, stretching. I tried to do st stretch my splits out a little bit. A little bit head to toes stretching. I don't know if you can hear me or not. Oh, that feels better. Yeah, so I did a little bit of head to toe stretching, a little bit of uh, deeper stretching. Did some loose kicks, just warming up, seeing how how far I could go comfortably without pain. Um, higher than I thought I could, so that's good. And then I did a little bit of stance, just kind of holding stance to see how, how much my body could handle, how much load it could take. Um, so it gives me a better idea of what I'm gonna do on Tuesday when I go to Maui and, and see kind of how I'm going to train when I go there. It won't be a big training. I'm just gonna keep it pretty concise. But that's from Maui and then Saturday after that. Well, it was good. I, I mean, I feel glad. I'm happy that I went in and it was a good uh, practice run. I'm really tired. You can see how much I'm sweating. Can you see all the sweat? So much sweat. But that's good. I'm leaking out the pain. I think now I'm going to go get a coffee. <laughs> I need some energy. I should have gotten a coffee before I worked out. I'm um, going to go get a coffee, go to my sister's, and then today's New Year's. So we're going to go hang out with my mom, have some mochi and stuff like that. So. Uh, that's it for the first day of the year, first Wushu 52 workout, and a long way to go over the next 52 weeks. See how it goes. Bye. This morning, let me, it's a good idea to know what you're going to do at the gym before you actually arrive there. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, it's ATG based training. So this is what I'm doing today. I'm doing reverse walking, like the reverse, I, I'm going to be on the treadmill or maybe with the pole thing for five minutes. Reverse stair steps work too. Then I'll do my tibialis raises. I'll do my calf raises, uh, FHL calf raise, KOT calf raise, knees over toe calf raise. Do my Patrick steps, which are kind of like a polyquin step. It's like a step down, uh, working on the front of the knee or the front of the quad. I'll do my split squats, five by five. Um, and then I'll do some hamstring, probably head to toe type stuff. A little bit of hip flexion, like maybe a knee raises, things like that, just to get the hip blood flowing in the hip flexor uh, and then i'll do some ring rows and some ring push-ups so ring rows are like that and you'll see then stretching and stuff so my standard stretching is uh head to toe side head to toe 100 pulses each side with a 10 to 20 second hold at the end and then i'll do my lunge stretches a kind of deep lunge stretch piriformis stretching like pigeon stretch and then um uh, splits, front splits on both sides, and then I'll do straddle splits. Uh, usually like a groin stretch, a butterfly stretch, and then a full straddle split. Uh, well, I don't do full, but that's the plan. That's what I'm doing today. So let's see how it goes. I guess I'll put this in my, my weekly wrap-up video. Um, so this will be seen a week from tomorrow. Seems like a long time. Today is Monday, January 3rd, and I'm going to the gym. So a lot of the work I'm doing right now is focused on building up support and, and protecting the knees and the joints and my ankles and things like that. So the tibialis raise, which you're seeing here, and what you'll see with the calf raise and the knees over toe calf raise and the step downs um, and the split squats, uh, those are all meant specifically to baohu, the chi guy, right? To protect the knee. Sorry, my Chinese sucks. Um, <laughs> and that's the that's the priority right now because I want to build strength and support for the knees and the joints and the ankles and the hips because that's what's going to get injured first if I just go straight into full-on wushu training. So a lot of my strength training, protective strength training to hopefully eliminate future injuries. And on top of that, a lot of my work is also with range of motion mobility. So those are sort of the two main things I do on my strength training days. And then on the Wushu days, I focus on the Wushu fundamentals. And so then the next day it was on to Maui, which uh, was beautiful and awesome.
As you can see, I was already limping pretty heavily and using a cane to walk. So a lot of what I was doing was just trying to figure out what I could do. Uh, just seeing, can I punch? Can I hold a stance? Can I do a kick? Can I do anything at all? So that was what a lot of this day was. Just testing the waters. I talk more at the end of this about it from there, so I'll let him do all the talking. But in the meantime, enjoy this montage of me being really in pain. Yay, not. Truth be told, that wasn't so great. You know, everything comes from the ground in Wushu. Like you, <laughs> you can't not have stability in your movements. Otherwise, you're just kind of flailing around. Uh, but I did get in a little bit of mobility. I just kind of tested the waters to see where I, what I could do. Tried some punches and kicks, um, but it was very difficult. So, uh, But I'm glad I at least tried. I came out here and I moved around. And even though it's painful, I made the effort. And that's what I think is the most important. Anyway, I'm going to talk more about that whole habit formation thing at another time uh, because I think it's really key in understanding sort of why I can call this a success today even though um, outwardly it might seem like it's a total failure because I didn't really get much done but it's a success because I did something uh, but more on that later on right now I think I'm gonna go I have like what time is it I have like half an hour until I need to leave for the airport so I think I'm just gonna go walk over there and uh, dip my foot in the water for a second that sounds really nice so there you have it that's pretty much what happened last week there was another day I think I had I could do a little bit of TRX work at home but nothing really to talk about I think I shared that in another video when I was outside in the dark but aside from that I haven't been able to do much at all except just sit here at my desk and work so kind of a bummer like I said take it as it comes uh, work on one thing at a time and keep moving forward. So here we are, end of week one. Hope that was entertaining, useful, not depressing. One of those things. And thanks so much for watching. Until next time, Jayo.